Lost River Peak is the sixth highest peak in Idaho, standing at 12,078 feet. There's nothing gradual about this peak as it rises dramatically off the valley floor to its summit. The mountain Super Goalie, which is the route I took, is the most distinctive feature of this peak, which carves its way up the southwest face of the mountain to a distinct point. Upon making your way up, when you reach the fault summit, you must walk across the northeast ridge, steep on the other side, until you reach the true summit. This is my climb on Lost River Peak. It's 5.40 in the morning and I am getting started going up Lost River Peak. Brought the whole family this time. They're in Mackey right now. I'm solo this time. I still brought a beacon probe and shovel because I saw a light up there. So just in case there's a rescue, I'm prepared. This one's another 12er. And you go up to what they call the super goalie. So I didn't even bring skins this time. I brought crampons and just kind of planning to boot pack it all the way up. First hour has passed, gone about 1800 feet, and then total mileage so far, I've got a 1.6. Taking a break, pretty tired. I see the other people, the other crew right there. They're putting on their crampons right now. And this is kind of where it transitions into snow. I'll put on my crampons just up there. Just above 11,000 feet. Met up with Ted over there. He's from Pocatello. He was with his other partner, but his other partner turned around. So we're heading up. Feeling the altitude. Beautiful views. Awesome peaks too. Just amazing. It's amazing. The summit is just over there. So we have to walk this ridge. I'm gonna ditch my skis and pack. Just walk over there, tag the summit, and then ski down. Yeah, not a bad morning. This uh, ridge over here is starting to get steeper, maybe a little bit gnarlier. This is kind of the part where I have to go around a rock. Um, I'm gonna do it.
I made it. I made it. Lost River Peak. Another 12 or in Idaho. Feels good. So far I've been out five hours. Just over four miles. And just about 5,000 feet of vertical. A little less. So now I'm gonna head back across the ridge line to where my skis are. And I'm just gonna ski down and then hike my way out to the car. And then that's it. Go home. That was a really, that was actually a really good ski down. The sun warmed it up just enough and my knee felt better than it has for since, since I broke it. So every tour I do, it seems to be getting better and better, which is awesome. Church, it was still aching. Bora uh, was aching just a little bit. And here it was aching hardly at all, just hardly at all. So I'm so, I'm pleased about that. And I'm pleased the sun came out and no wet slides. It was just, it was great. It's, it's 11.38. It'll probably take me about an hour to get down to the car. And I've done a total of six miles. Probably when I get to the car, it'll be maybe another two miles or so. So all in all, I thought it was great. I actually like the Super Goalie, but I, I actually really enjoyed this. It was fun. It was satisfying to successfully climb and ski down Lost River Peak. I noticed a huge improvement in the healing of my leg. This was the third 12-er since I broke it, and with each new peak climbed, I could feel the pain in my leg subside more and more. I felt hopeful of a full recovery at this point. Skiing a 12-er is 95% hiking and 5% skiing. The demands to go uphill are heavy. It is hard every time. But doing challenging activities, comes with a satisfaction that is not felt otherwise. A peak's majesty calls to many of us from above. To those who heed that calling will awaken a deep yearning to experience the wild, something that is all too often ignored in our modern society. Getting to the top of any 12-er is a rewarding experience. You never seem to forget the sights and feeling when at the top. So until next time, stay tuned, stay hungry, and stay wild. On the next episode of the Twelvers. I mean, it's definitely a no-fall zone.